If you coach or train with a 360 feedback tool, here's an okay tip, a best practice of ours that might help you. Coaching categories. If you're providing coaching or professional development services to a large number of clients, consider the following three coaching categories, self-starters, prisoners, and potential learners. All of the clients you encounter are going to fall in one of these three categories. Let's talk about self-starters. About a quarter, perhaps as many as a third, of your client group will be highly motivated and self-starting. They'll come to any meeting or coaching discussion primed to learn, ask, listen, and grow. These are clients whose development efforts you really need not manage. They're doing this themselves, and all you have to do is run fast to keep up. Self-starters are, are going to be high achievers, and we as coaches and trainers shouldn't take too much of the credit for this. These were going to be high contributors regardless of whomever worked with and in support of them. Prisoners. Another quarter, perhaps as many as a third, of your client group are coming to this coaching development effort as a prisoner. They don't want and are not comfortable with the data, the help, or the effort. And they'll likely drag their feet and perhaps stall in an attempt to run out the clock until the session is over. Now, it's nice as a coach to come to the effort prepared and enthused. But when dealing with prisoners, your energy and preparation may well not result in positive movement. Coaches should realize that if, in the end, a client does not engage the process, do the personal work, or, and decides not to learn or change, the coach is not necessarily to blame. And now let's talk about potential learners. These categories imply that about half of your clients come to coaching a bit concerned, scared, nervous, or maybe even skeptical about the effort, but they're willing to do the work so long as you provide good data, a safe space, and a logical process for them to follow. It's for this vital middle group, for the potential learners, that your preparation will most pay off. Good coaching, good tools, and a supportive process could sway these folks to become one of the high performers. So watch out for your most important group, the potential learners. The bottom line is that not all clients will come to your coaching with the same energy and openness. Some are self-starters, some are prisoners, and yet others are potential learners. Remembering these coaching categories will help you both prepare for and better help the clients with whom you work.